Jackaroot Stafford Motor Speedway welcomes you to a CarQuest Motorsports presentation. It's NASCAR in your backyard. Last week here at Stafford. Calco looking for his first win since June. Santangelo is right there, causing that lead to shrink. Pelletier is in third, but here is our point leader, Matt Galco, as he struts his way into turn number four, a big lead for Galco. Galco brings it to the line. He'll take down the victory. Three starts kept hurting me. I needed a couple laps for the car to come in. My car was really good on the outside. Joey got me on the inside that one time. I mean, we touched a lot, but that's good hard racing. I hope he's all right and everything. I don't know what happened to Barrett, but he was good hard racing too. <laughs> So he smoke bombs his way into turn number one. Sean Tebow, car a little sideways in turn number one. Will that be a problem? As he is ready to bazooka his way into turn number three, he is two turns away from win number two. Deep into turn number three, off turn number four, win number two for Sean Tebow. He'll take down the victory. I didn't know what to expect to come into tonight after blowing the rear and tranny on the second lap of practice. I can't say enough about this team to get this back together and get us out there. I got to thank the 55SK for letting us borrow the transmission tonight. Thank my crew for helping me get it in, but man, the car was so good tonight. And, and will this be a coronation lap for Hayes? Mabrino getting some late life on the outside groove as he is torturing the back bumper of Albert Saunders. Look at Kyle Casagrande as he is able to laser beam his way back into the top three. Membrino still trying to fight back, but Kyle Casagrande moves in, takes over the fourth spot. Here comes Jolly. Checkered flag is out. Andrew Hayes for the win. Albert Saunders in for second. Oh, yeah, I was real nervous. Tony's a great racer. Just hoping we can get him off the line. It all worked out for us there. <laughs> Here comes Pasako again. Down underneath Kid Rock. J.J. Hill is there. Four cars under a blanket. They touch down the back stretch. Meanwhile, Rocco and Hill go sliding through the bottom of the infield. It is Hutchings who takes down the win. I know I had two hungry guys behind me. I mean, Adam, thought Adam and Scott were going to get me there for a little while. Scott was definitely a little quicker on the long run. I got a little loose, started getting real free on exit, but uh, I can't be happy to be back in victory lane. <laughs> Frank Rocco, one lap away from victory. Here comes Priest. Desperation move on the outside, just like he did to the 150 lapper. But he has company. Woody Pitcat making a bold statement. Frank Rocco trying to keep it together for one more turn. Off turn number four. Frank Rocco has done it. Woody Pitcat in for second. Uh, I knew we, I knew we had a good car. You know, I knew they had a good car. They'd have to have a great car to go around me. Everybody raced clean, other than right at the very end, Woody got me good going into three. Um, but it was, a, it was a good clean race, and that's a great win. And, and Ted Christopher guards the lead. White flag is out. They go into turn one. Here comes Kid Rock. Try it for the lead. They're even as they go down the back stretch. Down the back stretch. Kid Rock on the inside. Ted Christopher. Kid Rock takes over the lead. Then it's Priest to give him a tap to the bumper. Off the turn, down to the line. It's Keith Rocco to take down the win. Ted's the best there is, and you know, uh, I didn't think I had anything for him tonight. He had a great car, and uh, you know, I don't know. 